Not sure how many of people find this exciting, but this is one of my Pacific Madrone trees that was started from seed. And I have planted here on a slope. Nice evergreen. You can see the new growth starting. These do flower. Um, this is a strawberry tree right beside it, which is a close relative. And there's some strawberries forming. But uh, remember the Heather family? Flowers uh, in, the, I think, the late winter, early spring. And it gets a really nice red peeling bark. So you have the, this one's not quite doing it yet because it's too young, but uh, nice red bark, nice thick, you know, tropical looking leaves, flowers in the early spring, and then it gets covered in red berries that I guess the birds and the wildlife like. Here's my bigger one. This one, I guess, likes this position a lot better. It's about seven or eight feet tall now. And these are supposed to be very fussy trees. Plant them and forget them. Don't walk near them because you don't want to upset their roots. Uh, don't water them in the summer because they'll get phytophora, which is like a, a fungus that will kill them. So um, you tend to see them, I see them a lot around here growing in, in rocks, uh, rocky cliffs, things like that. Um, well draining soil. But uh, I seem to have done okay because these are liking where they are. I'm, I'm looking forward to the day that they flower. Let's get up here. Oh yeah, this one's probably eight feet now. It's got multiple stems. It kind of grew contorted. The high winds knocked it, knocked it over and I'm just kind of leaving it like that. So not the most common tree to see in someone's yard. Um, but I'm quite happy to have them. I did plant these eucalyptus to be my um, privacy barrier first because I was told that these uh, madrones don't don't grow very fast, but uh, eight feet in three years from something that was just a few leaves, I, I think that's okay. I don't think that's that's too shabby and I expect this year it's gonna grow even more, so. This one's a little bit slower. It doesn't quite get as much sun. But my idea was to actually, um, I had these eucalyptus here and they were gonna kind of fill in the gap and provide the privacy while those grow, grow up. And then I'm, I'm looking to remove the eucalyptus. Uh, these are uh, snow gums, po uh, eucalyptus passiflora. <laughs> See that funky one right there? I kind of don't want to remove them now. Oh, good, but, uh, you know, the madrones get quite big. Um, it's, I don't think they really grow anywhere uh, other than the West Coast. I, I don't think that they uh, can survive the humidity of the East. They really like that Mediterranean climate, uh, dry, warm, dry summers, and uh, cool, wet winters. So, if you're on the West Coast, you might want to try one. I have been seeing them in nurseries, um, small ones in nurseries, and like I said, plant it and forget it. Just leave it alone. Thanks for watching.